بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از اسد یعقوب اینڈ آئی ایم فرام لاہور پاکستان اینڈ آئی ٹیچ آئی ایلس ہیئر آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو مائی آئی ایلس ریڈنگ ویڈیو دس از دا تھرڈ ویڈیو آف دس سیریز اف یو ہیو واچ دا فرسٹ ٹو ویڈیوز فینٹیسٹک اینڈ اف یو ہیونٹ واچ دا فرسٹ ٹو ویڈیوز گو اینڈ واچ دوز ویڈیوز فرسٹ اینڈ دین یو شوڈ واچ this third video uh, this video is about short answer questions and no more than one word oh gosh short answer questions with no more than one word and let me tell you this is the latest IELTS reading test you can anticipate anything like this in your academic IELTS reading as I told you in some of my videos that now IELTS reading has become a little more difficult a little more complicated so that's why I'm making these videos and I have selected a complicated test with the current type of questions so that I could just give you the tips which can help you in your actual IELTS exam so the type of questions we have here is answer the questions below a short answer question choose no more than one word now let's go to the book to the booklet and we solve this test together with pencil take care let's go there okay now let's go on answer the questions below choose no more than one word okay this is very important the first thing you need to read is this actually no more than one word from the text for each answer write your answer in boxes number 10 in what form does the brain store odor objects now you can see it's in inverted commas so the first thing is you need to actually find where have they mentioned odor objects and then you, you got to see what form in what form does the brain store odor objects so let's just see we had done until here and we had come until here as well but now we got to see odor uh, objects odor oh yeah 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 shepherd terms odor objects exactly this one now the answer is going to be somewhere we need to see what forms odor objects stored as memories wow simple huh one uh, and stiff uh, and uh, stiff shepherd terms odor objects stored as memories now in what form they are stored does the odor object stored they are stored as memories okay that's simple now next is when seeing was difficult what did we use our sense to smell to find now let's see when seeing was difficult what did we use our sense of smell now for what purpose we used our sense of smell okay to find to find what okay let's go ahead brain creates images and all that stuff unfamiliar go back in history oh yeah past tense go back in history and i tell you why because they say when seeing was difficult it means it's the past tense and now they are using the word history so when seeing was difficult what did we use our senses of smell to find to search to look for and all that let's see uh, go back in history and this was part of our survival repertoire like most animals we drew on our sense of smell when visual information was scarce the answer is here 100 percent the answer is here we drew our uh, we drew on our sense of smell when visual information was scarce to single out prey yes to single out prey now what is the question when seeing was difficult when seeing was scarce and all that what did we use our sense to find to find what and here they say to single out for find they have used the word single out to find to single out and the answer is prey now let me tell you this two is for infinitive to find and to single out it has the same meaning so this two can be a very good clue and then the answer is pray p r e y pray one word only and we are solving ielts reading test and look here how i'm solving this okay which food item illustrates how flavor and positive emotions are linked 
which food item so it means the answer is food item and that food item illustrates given as an example how flavor and positive emotions two things flavor and positive emotions are linked so which food item we need to find that food item uh, illustrates how flavor and positive emotion so we need to find emotions uh, positive emotions flavor and all that let's just go ahead this is all done here recognition system they were talking about flavor so let's just read ahead visual and all that touch texture and feel food on our lips and okay then there are the taste receptors okay okay the engagement ah, 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 ah. I found emotions right so it means we need to read carefully ahead uh, to uh, the engagement of our emotions can be directly illustrated when we picture some of the wide uh, ranging facial expressions okay that are elicited uh, elicited by various foods many of them hardwired into our brains at birth consider the response to sharpness of a lemon compare that with the face that is welcoming the smooth wonder of chocolate okay now let's read the question once again in order to find what can be the answer the question is which food item you need to tell the food item which food item illustrates how flavor and positive emotions how flavor and positive emotions are linked so which food item they use two food items one was lemon one was chocolate the engagement of our emotions can be readily illustrated in all that facial expression they are elicited by various foods many of them hardwired into our brains at birth consider the response to the sharpness of a lemon and compare that with the face that is welcoming the smooth wonder of chocolate now welcoming smooth wonder of chocolate this is actually the positive response and the food item is chocolate read the question again which food item illustrates how flavor and positive emotion now you can see here we have this positive emotion welcoming the smooth wonder of chocolate so the answer is chocolate <laughs> chocolate okay yes IELTS reading is not difficult with Asad Yaqub and it's gonna be easier for you as well now I'm explaining okay don't worry now Asad Yaqub has come so you don't need to worry about anything next number 13 what could be controlled in the future through flavor manipulation so what could be controlled in the future now you got to focus future what could be controlled you need to find what could be controlled in the future through flavor manipulation so through flavor manipulation what are they going to control in the future you need to read ahead and you will find the answer let's try this one the flavor sensing system ever receptive to new combination and keep the brain acting it has also the power to on the horizon we have the positive application curb our appetite now we need to see the word future on the horizon we have the positive application on the horizon we have the positive application of neurogastronomy manipulating flavor yeah that's what they use to curb our appetites now on the horizon they are using it for future let's see what the question is what could be controlled in the future through flavor manipulation so what do they say here uh, the flavor sensing system are receptors to new combinations helps to keep our brains active and flexible it also has the power to shape our desires and ultimately our bodies on the horizon that is something which is going to happen which could happen we have the positive application of neurogastronomy manipulating flavor to curb our appetite to curb our appetite and what do they say what could be controlled in the future through flavor manipulation to curb our appetite now you got to write one word only you cannot write curb you can only write appetite so the answer is appetites and it's plural by the way where is it yeah it's plural to curb our appetites so you can write what could be controlled in the future through flavor manipulation that is appetite so this is how you guys need to do it and again I tell you the questions and passage they are in the same order 
the questions are in passage order right here even they were in passage order here and they were in passage order here so that's it welcome back once again how was the experience huh short answer question with one word good so this is how you need to do it and let me tell you the best way to remember my tips the best way to remember my techniques the best way is only one that do one test after watching my video now this time you have watched my video on uh, short answer questions now please take one short answer question test and after that these tips these techniques are going to be yours so in order to get good bands in IELTS you need to go with Asad Yaqub's IELTS mindset once you have Asad Yaqub's IELTS mindset then reading will not be difficult for you if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel I also teach IELTS online if you want to join my online IELTS classes you can contact me for that Asad Yaqub wishes you all the best Take care. Allah Hafiz.